Hi, this is Sean from NotBadmin.com. One of the questions we get asked is, um, can I use NotBadmin to connect to a local or remote database? And basically, where is the best place to put NotBadmin? And I always just tell folks, um, install NotBadmin where it's easiest and where you're going to use it the most, such as like on a workstation or a laptop that you have access to. Um, really the best place to put NOP admin is anywhere that you have uh, connectivity to your NOP commerce storefront because NOP admin can run in both local and remote mode and uh, what I'm going to do is show you how you can um, configure NOP admin to work locally and then I'm going to show you how you can configure NOP admin to work remotely such as managing your online store which is really what NOP admin is intended for so let's go ahead and get started. I've just installed NOP Admin um, and have not configured it yet. So let's go ahead and start. You're going to get a couple splash screens basically saying loading, connecting. Now database connection needs configured. That's because we haven't done anything yet. You're going to be brought to this screen. And I happen to be running a local version of NOP Commerce on this particular machine. So I can use this get local machine name. And uh, basically it just gets the, the name on the machine and the network. Here's where we enter the database name. This is the actual um, SQL uh, database name. So I happen to have one called NopCommerce 160 for version 1.60. And because I'm running locally, I can say connect using Windows authentication. And it puts in my username that I'm logged in as and I'll say test. Okay, everything is good, so we are able to open this database. By the way, if you try to use NopAdmin 1.60, which is what this is, to connect to NopCommerce 1.4, 1.5, or even 1.8 installation, it's gonna give you an error because of the database structures. So if I try to connect to a 1.50 version, whoops, and I say test, it's going to give me an error message basically saying you need to connect to 1.6 or 1.7 version using this NOP admin version. That is because there's database changes in almost every NOP commerce version and you need to use the right NOP admin version according to what NOP commerce version you want to manage. So let's go ahead and change this back to 1.6. Say test. We say save because we are, the test was complete, this button became enabled, and now we can go ahead and say let's restart. And because we've already gone through the configuration screen, it's going to bypass that now. And it's going to bring us up to the product maintenance screen, which is the opening screen. If we click get products, we see you now we're using the evaluation version restricted to 20 products and this basically is the first 20 active products in your database so if you need access to more than 20 um, please visit www.nopadmin.com and purchase a license and that'll give you unrestricted access to all your products okay I'm gonna get connect remotely now so let's go back to the config screen And in this instance, I'm going to connect to demo.nopadmin.com. Again, this is just the SQL um, database name. And here I'm just going to use, I know you're, it's not a best practice to use an SA, but just for demonstrative purposes, that's what we're going to use. Um, Basically, you just use your asset, your uh, SQL username and password that has connectivity to and permissions to this database name on the on your SQL box. Okay, let's go ahead and test. Okay, there's some kind of a problem here. Test failed. You're not able to open this database. Okay, that is because I had the database name wrong. 
It's actually demo.notcommerce160. And when you have it right, like this is, then it obviously you get test complete. Every time you get this test complete, you need to say save settings and let NOP admin restart with the new configuration. Okay, we're back to the same product maintenance screen. And we see again the first 20 products in our demonstration database um, that is running on our server. So that's just a very quick example of how you can use NOP admin to connect both locally and remotely to manage your NOP commerce storefronts.